Lactantius Epitome, Episode 7. Quis enim de providentia dubitet, cum vide at coelos terram que sic disposita, sic temper rata esse universa, ut non modo ad pulcritudinem ordnatumque mirdrabalem, sed ar usum quoque hominum, ceter rordrumque viventium comoditatem, aptissime convenirent. 4. Who can doubt? Quis dubitet? This is the question. Who can doubt about providence de providentia? Cum videat, when he sees that the heavens and the earth, coilos or kailos terramque, are so arranged. Disposita is neuter, plural, and accusative. Coilos and terdram are plural and accusative. The one coilos masculine and the other terdram feminine, but then their predicate here is a neuter plural that the heavens and the earth are so arranged that all things, universa, have been so moderated, sic temperata esse, both temperata and universa, neuter, plural, accusative. This is oratio obliqua, indirect statement introduced by videat, with accusative subjects and infinitive verbs. That, ut, and notice how seek seek these adverbs of degree, prepare us for the result clause. When he sees, cum videat, cum temporal, when he sees that heavens and earth are so arranged, all things universa have been seek temperata, so managed that, as a result, non modo, not only for beauty and ornatumque mirdrabilem, and for incredible mirdrabilem decoration, Sed ad usum, but also usum quoque hominum, sed quoque, but also for the use of mankind and of other living things, caetur rumque viventium, their commoditatem, their advantage, that these things optissime so conveniently come together, convenirent. So then, looking a little more closely at the grammar, we have again the main verb, dubitet, who can doubt. Then we have a cum clause with widayat, present subjunctive. To seek, adverbs here, seek, seek, these adverbs of degree, prepare us for the result clause, ut. Ut then has as its verb, convenirent. Who can doubt, when he sees all these things, that as a result, they're so disposed that as a result, they are convenirent, they are very well arranged, or they come together very well, they're very convenient, optissime, superlative, adverb. Not only, non modo, for the beauty, pulchritudinum, and the ornatum, a mirabilem ornatum, sed quoque, but also f for the use, the enjoyment of men and of other living creatures, their great advantage, commoditatem. So here we have the verb convenirent, an imperfect subjunctive, from the fourth conjugation verb convenio convenire. It means to assemble, to be brought together, to join together. So that as a result, convenirent optissime, they are most conveniently arranged. And then we have odd with accusatives for purpose, and odd with the accusative for purpose. Ad pulchritudinem ornatum, with a modifier mirabilem, and then the preposition ad with usum and a genitive modifying and commoditatem, the second accusative with this ad and the genitives caeter rorum and we went to modifying.